My name is Chris Roth, and I'm the Commercial Manager for Cryopreservation Equipment, and today we'll be walking through the preventative maintenance required for the Thermoscientific Cryomed Controlled Rate Freezer. Your equipment has been thoroughly tested and calibrated before shipment. Regular preventative maintenance is important to keep your unit functioning properly. The operator should perform routine cleaning and maintenance on a regular basis. For maximum performance and efficiency, it's recommended that the unit be checked and calibrated periodically by a qualified service technician. We have qualified service technicians using NIST traceable instruments available in many areas. For more information on preventive maintenance and extended warranties, contact Technical Services. In the user manual that came with your Cryomed controlled rate freezer, you'll find a number of preventative maintenance requirements and the cadence at which they should be performed. During this video, we will discuss and demonstrate each recommended action to prepare you to appropriately care for your new Cryomed unit. Before using any cleaning or decontamination method except those recommended by the manufacturer, users must check with the manufacturer that the proposed method will not damage the equipment. Do not use strong alkaline or caustic agents. Stainless steel is corrosive resistant, not corrosive proof. Do not use a solution of sodium hypochloride as it can cause pitting and rusting. Alcohol, even a 70% solution, is volatile and flammable. Use it only in a well-ventilated area that is free from open flame. If a component is cleaned with alcohol, do not expose that component to open flame or other possible hazards. Allow the alcohol to fully dry before turning on. Thoroughly dry the door and chamber opening gaskets and heat brakes after each run using a soft cloth to prevent ice buildup, which could reduce the effectiveness of the door seal. Immediately clean up any water that may drip onto the floor in order to prevent potential slipping hazards. Use an appropriate disinfectant. All articles and surfaces to be disinfected must be thoroughly cleaned, rinsed, and rough dried. Before beginning any of the maintenance requirements that we will go over, Shut down the freezer using the shutdown button. Turn the freezer off and disconnect the plug from the power source before beginning any service work. Clean the sample probe with alcohol and allow to dry. Unplug and remove the sample probe from the chamber. Wash the cabinet interior using a non-embrasive cloth and a disinfectant starting at the top and working down. The cabinet door must be rinsed with sterile water until the disinfectant has been removed. After the cabinet has been rinsed, spray with 70% alcohol. Allow the cabinet door to remain open for the alcohol to evaporate. Plug the freezer in and turn the power switch on. Clean the freezer exterior with a damp sponge or soft, well-wrung cloth and mild detergent dissolved in water. Dry with a soft cloth. Calibration of sample probes should be handled by trained professionals and under specific qualifications needed for your application or facility. We recommend contacting Thermoscientific Technical Services if you have any questions related to probe calibration. It is recommended that you test the accuracy and calibration of your internal and sample probes by measuring the temperature in the chamber or sample by means of a secondary instrument. This can be done by inserting a thermometer, remote temperature instrument, or data logging device into the cryomed chamber or sample and comparing the temperature reading on the cryomed user interface to those reported on the secondary measuring instrument. If the temperature readings are not aligned, it may be time to recalibrate the unit. Before beginning any maintenance requirements that we will go over, be sure to shut down the unit using the shutdown button to disconnect the unit from the power source before beginning any of service work. Checking the charge on the battery unit should be an annual maintenance activity. If the charge on the battery is not meeting equipment specifications, you may need to replace it. In order to replace the battery, adhere to the following steps. Locate and remove the service panel on the right side of the cryomed by removing the screws around the exterior of the panel. After removing the service panel, locate the battery on the bottom of the unit towards the back of the device. Once located, remove the restraint cage around the battery by loosening and removing the nuts holding the cage in place. Before taking the battery out of the unit, make sure to remove the wires connecting each terminal. Make sure to remove the negative black wire first, followed by removing the positive red wire. Once the old battery has been removed, the new battery can be placed into the unit. When connecting the wires back to the terminals, follow the reverse procedure by attaching first the wire to the positive red terminal, 
and then attaching the wire to the negative or black terminal. After attaching the battery, replace the restraint cage by tightening back on the bolts around the cage. Once the battery is secure, the service panel can be replaced by putting the panel back into position and replacing the screws around the periphery of the panel. After the panel has been securely refastened, the power is ready to be turned back on and the unit can go back into routine use. In addition to monitoring the preventative maintenance indicator on the unit for the LN2 solenoid replacement, it is recommended that inspection of the solenoid valve be performed on an annual basis. The inspection and replacement should only be performed by a trained technician. We recommend contacting Thermoscientific Technical Services if you have any questions related to the solenoid valve inspection or replacement.